Thank you. I would like to say that it's, a, it's an honor, it's a privilege, and it's a matter of great pride for us to be able to introduce Pakistani heritage in this gallery. Uh, as you've been talking about this, uh, when we met last time, uh, we discussed about how to connect the gallery with the world and with the communities in which it's placed. And I think it's very important that we have uh, a cultural connection between various communities. That gives us a sense of pride in our own heritage, but it also gives us a better understanding of what other cultures and heritages are about. Uh, it's very appropriate that we are having Kavali here today. Kavali is a form of music which is about the Sufis, the mystics, and their whole life was about bringing people together, connecting them, and connecting them to God. The Sufis would say that you don't go into a mosque, you don't go into a temple, you don't go into a church looking for God, you look in yourself, you look to your fellow human beings. And that's what today's event is about. Uh, I'm very pleased to have many distinguished guests here among us. We have uh, uh, Baroness Saida Warsi, we have MEP Afzal Khan, we have uh, the Honorable uh, Mayor of uh, Salford, and she's been very kind to join us. And we have MP Andy Burnham who has also joined us today. Uh, I think Andy's presence here because of his uh, uh, new position, uh, hopefully, is, uh, is, is very important because it shows not only his support for our art and culture, it also shows his support for the communities. And uh, uh, I would be very happy if Andy could say a few words. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Council General, distinguished guests, Lady Madison, um, it's a great pleasure uh, to be here. I am um, not uh, campaigning, I want to assure you, I'm not looking for votes today, but I do hope uh, next year to be um, the first elected mayor of Greater Manchester. And what a privilege that would be, what a wonderful city region that we have. And, one of the reasons I wanted to be here today is to show how, um, how much importance I attach to my relationship with, uh, with the community and how much I will want to work with you to bring Greater Manchester together. And I think I'd just say, Maria, I mean, the gallery itself is a wonderful symbol of that, isn't it? Breaking down the barriers um, between, uh, between communities. The way you've opened the gallery up it is absolutely brilliant. And I know it's won a huge amount of awards, hasn't it? It's a jewel in the crown. Uh, of Manchester's uh, cultural uh, cultural heritage, and we are very proud of what you uh, what you do here. But the way you've opened the gallery up, I think, is a great symbol of what we want Greater Manchester to be all about. That we don't have barriers between culture and people, but we don't have barriers between any communities either. And in um, these times that we're living in now, and we all have to work quite hard at that, don't we, to bring to bring people together, to open up, and to make sure that places like this celebrate the culture of everybody in Greater Manchester. As a former culture secretary, I know that sometimes the cultural world can be a little, you know, a little snooty and they can have a certain type of culture with inside, but maybe not everybody's uh, culture. That's not something you could ever accuse this place, uh, though, or any, indeed any of the cultural institutions of Greater Manchester. It should be about celebrating the culture of all of the people uh, who live uh, within our wonderful uh, city region. That's why today is so important. It's such a good friendship that you have and a good way of, uh, of bringing, uh, bringing uh, culture to, um, uh, to, to people. And uh, so I just want to say uh, it's, a pleasure, it's a pleasure to be with you all uh, today. We hope it's a, a, great, um, a great event and um, very much look forward to working with the gallery but also with the community, as I say, if, uh, if everything goes to plan. But uh, have a wonderful afternoon, uh, everybody. And, I think, Sadie, aren't you expected in Birmingham, or is that later? Are you, uh, are you off tomorrow? To tomorrow, right, okay, well. Uh, she can do two places. She can, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that her conference might be slightly more friendly than ours was, but anyway, we got there in the end, and we had a, we had a, good, uh, a good few days in Liverpool. But I think, um, hopefully, that in itself is a good symbol that um, part, political parties coming together and not, uh, in these difficult times, not um, seeing any divides when it comes to... Um, uh, bringing, bringing people together. 
after the referendum, it's true to say that it is fragmented out there, isn't it? People are feeling uncertain about the times that we're living in. That was a theme that very much came to our conference um, last week. And I think the onus is on everybody now, in these moments in the history of our country, to work quite hard to, um, to, to bring all communities back together and not allow any sense of division to creep in. So hopefully today might, might help uh, do that as well. But I can assure you, let's all, all work hard to, um, to, to bring Greater Manchester and the country back together and uh, build a strong cohesive society we all want to see. So thank you very much, Erin. Good luck for the event.